This year, Rockford Fosgate is proud to introduce their all new small chassis power series amplifiers. These amplifiers take all the latest technology that Rockford has developed and combine it with the power capability you've come to expect out of a power series amplifier and packed it into a small chassis heatsink whose performance will truly amaze you. Let's take a look at these amps a little closer and understand where they came from and what makes them up. Now, our inspiration for the new power amps really started with our Punch PBR series of amplifiers. Now, when they were introduced, we quickly realized that the subcompact size amplifier was becoming the solution to a lot of new applications. Custom motorcycle shops and off-road enthusiasts were introducing us to a whole new world of Rockford fanatics, using their imagination and skills to build some truly radical new machines. Now, seeing this, we asked the questions, can we do more? Can we improve on the design and create something even better? So, with that challenge at hand, we set out to combine the best Rockford has in amplifier technology and put it all together in a scaled down amplifier chassis. We looked through our catalog of amplifier models and cherry picked the best technologies and features that they had to offer and topped it off with some application driven elements such as dual fan, forced induction cooling, top mount controls, and quick connect terminals. So in the lineup, we offer three models, a 400 watt four channel, a 400 watt two channel, and a 500 watt monoblock. The first model on our drawing board was the T500X1BR. Now with the established track record of the PBR500X1, we looked at how could we improve the performance to be considered a power series amplifier. Now of course, one challenge of any new amplifier design is its ability to deal with heat especially in a smaller chassis package. So by adding dual fan cooling and a new extruded aluminum heatsink design, we saw a significant increase in its capabilities and the positive results gave us the confidence to be able to move forward with both the two channel and four channel models. When designing the full range models, we knew we wanted to incorporate our AD amplifier topology used in our larger multi-channel power series amplifiers due to its high efficiency, high power output capability, and high fidelity sound reproduction. Now, of course, taking all of those components and stuffing them in such a small chassis was a challenge, and it took numerous revisions of the circuit boards before we were able to really get it right. The result were two models that performed well above our expectations, both on the bench and in the car. So incorporating the constant power class AD circuitry into these amplifiers is really what sets them apart from all the other models. By allowing them to produce identical power ratings at both 4 ohm and 2 ohm per channel loads. Now the decision also allows us to use higher voltage power supplies that would normally destroy most output stages at lower impedance loading conditions. The results are amplifiers who out, whose outputs seem louder and is higher than their power ratings would imply. But of course, being Rockford, we didn't just stop there. Another of the design features is the dual fan forced induction cooling system. This allows the amplifier to produce its high power output without fear of overheating. The system is actually designed to work in three stages. Now, first of course, is the heatsink itself. Thermal testing was used to determine the best design for the heatsink to maximize the transfer of the heat to the surrounding air. Secondly, the MOSFETs are mounted to a vertical rail on the chassis, which provides air channels for airflow when the fans are engaged. Now these channels direct the air not only over the front of the MOSFETs, but also behind them, drawing away the additional heat. Then thirdly, under additional load, when the heat output increases, the fans themselves also increase their speed to provide additional cooling to keep the internal temperature within the operational limit that we set. Now, as I said, we took the best technology that we have to offer and put it into these amplifiers. So naturally we had to incorporate our patented clean circuit. As we discussed before in the punch amplifier video, this circuit incorporates a clipping detection circuit right into the amplifier and works much the same way as an oscilloscope will. This circuit not only provides visual feedback when determining the clipping point of the source unit input signal, 
but also shows at what point the output of the amplifier clips when adjusting the level controls. We've also top mounted the controls to make adjustments easier in most installation situations. Also like the punch series, we've made the inputs dual signal compatible, allowing you to run either a high level speaker signal or low level RCA signal into the same port without having to go through a line out converter. Using a direct speaker wire connection is as simple as cutting the RCA connectors off the input plug and making the connections. We've also incorporated an auto turn on circuit into the amplifier's input section that when you use a speaker level input, it can detect an embedded DC offset voltage from the head unit if it's present. This will then turn the amp on and off with the radio and helps to eliminate the need to find an additional remote turn on wire for the amp. Now in rare cases though, this signal may not be present, so a 12 volt turn on signal will still have to be sourced. With additional features such as our punch EQ circuit, variable crossover, and a remote level control port on the T500 monoblock, these amplifiers are worthy enough to be called a power series amplifier. So hopefully this gives you some insight as to what these new models are all about, and I'll see you again in the next video.